Yes, welcome to the Biz Communication Show. I'm your host, Bill Lampton, the Biz Communication Guy. Happy to have you with us either on video or the podcast. The Biz Communication Show often spotlights a guest. I have a very lively, constructive conversation with a business communication expert, and that way you and I learn tips and strategies that will be very valuable for us in our own business. Today, you are my guest. So my conversation is with you instead of with a guest on the show. And we're going to learn some valuable information today. We're going to talk about how to cons communicate constructively with odd people. Again, how to communicate constructively with odd people. Now, when I say odd people, it wouldn't surprise me at all if you had some people come to mind. It could be your boss. It could be your teammates. It could be your clients, your customers, your prospects, your friends. <laughs> Anybody that you come in contact with regularly, some of them in your mind, hopefully not to their face, but some of them in your mind you have classified as odd. How do you break through to them? Probably you've tried before, it hasn't worked, and so you just sort of give up on trying. I had that same problem for a long time. I was in management for 23 years, vice president of three colleges and a medical center, and for most of that time, I did not know how to relate to those odd, different, peculiar people as I thought about them, couldn't describe them that way, but thought about them that way. However, there is a way, and I was very fortunate to find it. I wish I'd found it earlier in my management career, but at least I found it. And not only have I used it ever since, but I have taught it in writing and video and speeches and seminars and personal consultation, every way I can think of. I love to talk about what's known as the DISC system. And it's the DISC system, D-I-S-C, because DISC is an acronym. And I'll tell you the four different communication styles that DISC describes. And what happens once we understand these, we recognize two things. First, what our own style is, and that's after we've taken the DISC survey, and we don't call it a test because there's no grade, there's no pass or fail. But after we've taken the DISC survey and we understand our own style, that's valuable also and especially with further training, we can easily, quickly, and very profitably identify the styles of others. And so we see then how we take our predominant natural style and we adjust it so that we can talk to that person the way they want to be approached. Okay. The, let's get to what the D-I-S-C stands for. First of all, the D is for dominance. And the dominant type is the one, for example, your boss, who makes it very clear to you, I am your boss. <laughs> I mean, there is, uh, there's not much approaching the D type with a, a, a congenial style. The D type is one, D can stand for dominance. It can stand for demanding. This is the person who doesn't want to talk to you about results today. They want to know why didn't those results come in two weeks ago or three weeks ago? And they don't want excuses. They want reasons. The D type is very task oriented, not all that strongly people oriented, but very strongly task oriented. The task takes priority. <laughs> How many people have you had come to mind already since I have mentioned and described the D type? 
All right, we're moving along in the DISC acronym. Next is the I type, and the I type is influential. This is the person who thinks, okay, if I just get a chance to talk to this person, my personality, my charm, my energy, my obvious commitment will overcome any objections. Now, have you guessed already that the I type is quite a distraction and even an, an annoyance to the D type? The D type wants to get things done. The D type comes into a meeting and is looking at the agenda. The I type comes in, talks to people about the most recent athletic contest, tells a joke, wants to know what you did for the weekend, and this gets the D type very, very impatient. So we've got the D for dominance, we've got the I for influential, and I'll give you the other two after this message. Do you wish you felt confident about giving speeches? Do you want to deal with difficult people constructively? And what about becoming more persuasive in sales? Then keep listening now to Dr. Bill Lampton. He spent 20 years in management, so he knows the communication skills you need for success. I urge you to call the Biz Communication Guy today for a no-cost but very valuable 30-minute discussion about your communication challenges. Call now, 678-316-4300. Again, that's 678-316-4300. Yes, I emphasize that I will welcome your phone calls so that we can talk about your communication challenges and problems and how I can assist you with them. And of course, we can talk about how you can learn the DISC system because that's something that I have administered to many organizations, both to individuals and then have individual conversations, explaining DISC, private conversations, are and have a group meeting where all the people in the group have taken the DISC instrument and we begin to compare what we've learned about it and how we can work together more cooperatively as a result. All right, dominance, influence, what comes next? What comes next is S for steadiness. Steadiness is the person who wants a lot of teamwork. This is a person who wants everybody happy. And wanting everybody happy, consensus is what's important. And so this person is possibly more in the people zone than the D type was, this one is in the people zone like the I type was, wants the task done, but will not move forward until everybody is happy. And then now we get to the fourth type, which is C. And C is for compliance. (laughs) Compliant person is If you ever watched any of the old movies and there was a guy sitting there with a green visor uh, working on uh, uh, statistics or the the company book, that's this person. They know the rules. They want the rules observed. And so if you, the high I type, come to this individual and you say, man, have I got a great plan. The C type, the compliant type will say, Well, now, wait a minute. Sounds great to you, but we've got to check our bylaws. We've got to check our budget. And by the way, we've never done this any way before. Already, I know that you have identified people who fit into each one of these communication styles. And because possibly you're not in the same style as some of the others, you've considered them odd, different, difficult, unapproachable, stubborn, and maybe even some of my golf course language you've used. Okay, what really happens? Notice an organization does need all four of these. Like it or not, it does. It needs the D type to get the task done 
keep things driving ahead, D for driven. You need the influential type, the I type, to keep good humor and harmony and team spirit. You need the S type to, again, see that people are together. And then you need the C type to pull you back to reality a lot of times. Isn't this fascinating? And I have to tell you, I mentioned that I learned about DISC late in my career. And I will have to tell you that I wish, again, I said, I wish I'd known it much earlier. And the only reason I came to take the DISC instrument was that in my career, I, of course, was looking at other opportunities. I went to a headhunter and the headhunter said, well, we like your interview. We like your written credentials. There's just one more thing. We, we, need, we have this instrument we want you to fill out. I had been very skeptical about those. I thought, how can answering 24 little questions tell you anything about anybody? However, of course, to comply with their wishes, the headhunter's wishes, I completed the DISC survey. When I got my report, I was absolutely stunned. I wondered, who, who is it that has been shadowing me for several years? Who is it that's watched me shave every morning? The report was, it was indescribably accurate. And with the many hundreds of people that have, I, had, I have administered DISC to, that's the reaction I get. Gosh, how did they know this about me? And once we get this, this picture of how we prefer to communicate, and then farther than that, how others prefer to communicate, we are really onto something. It's darn remarkable. Now, I invite you as we wind down our discussion to go to my YouTube channel where you'll find other renditions of the Biz Communication Show. You'll also find other instructional videos there. My YouTube channel, go into the search bar, type Bill Lampton, PhD. That's the title of my channel, Bill Lampton, PhD. And then hit that subscribe button. You'll have access to the videos I've done and the ones that I will be doing. I invite you to, to go to my website. And since I'm the biz communication guy, the website is biz, B-I-Z, bizcommunicationguy.com. You'll find out about my services for corporations and leaders. Again, you'll see my Contact information, which, as we mentioned earlier in the show, my phone number, 678-316-4300. Again, thanks very much for being with me today. I not only encourage you, I urge you to talk with me about the DISC system, what it can do for you, for your organization, for your sales, your customer service, your teamwork, your leadership, your self-confidence, the harmony in your group and the harmony that you will feel in yourself as well. So do give me a call, 678-316-4300. And be with me both on video and podcast for future versions of the Biz Communication Show. It's been a pleasure today to bring you Winning Words and Ways. I'm Bill Lampton, the Biz Communication Guy. Do you wish you felt confident about giving? Do you wish you felt confident about giving?